Hey, it's David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're getting you ready for the Brahmas game by showing you great bites from all across the Lone Star State. Get ready for authentic Texas barbecue and a loaded three meat sandwich. This looks absolutely insane. I'm so happy. And we're headed to the Hill Country for a wine tour and some bistro bites. He's a wine thief. Oh, yes. Good, <laughs> good, good. I am also a wine thief, so this yeah, is we're, great. We're all wine thieves. <laughs> Plus, we go to a north side rib and hot chicken spot that's bringing some serious spice. Look, it falls apart. Y'all, this is insane. All that and more right now on Texas Eats. Our first stop on today's foodie adventure is in Poteet for some awesome bloated burgers. Let's go see what's on the menu at the Backyard Kitchen. Welcome to the Backyard Kitchen! Joining us now is the owner and chef out here at the restaurant, Bradley Stelzig. Thank you so much for having us. What's up, David? How you doing, brother? I'm doing great. You have amazing food right in front of us. Everything looks incredible. How did all of this get started? So it started, man, with the, just a dream, man. 16 years old, first day I could work, went to work in the food industry, been in it ever since. We, uh, we, we are, we're here today, man. Honestly, it's a blessing, we're here. Now these items, these are some of the top ones you have on the menu. Yeah. Talk to me about this one. This just looks insane. This one's a must try right here. This is a good morning burger. And what we have on there is sriracha mayonnaise, bacon, we have some grilled onions, ham, and with an over easy egg on that. And yeah, it's gonna be oohing out whenever you take a bite of that. If you like the egg, that's where you're at on that one. You said that's the good morning? That's a good morning. That's a sleepy morning after you yeah, eat that. I'll yeah. tell you what, you're gonna be taking a nap after you have that one. That is huge. Now this one right here, these fries are special. And this is actually your number one item on the menu, right? And, and really, truly, it's one of those things, if you know, you know. We got that uh, sriracha mayonnaise on her again with the uh, crispy chicken all white breasts. We got the nacho cheese on her with some hot Cheetos. And then we also have the uh, chicken pickle fries. Now, yeah. this this right here, I mean, this thing's got like a whole pig on it or something over there, man. That's a sweet and spicy burger. We got that spicy barbecue on there with a little bit of sweet, a little bit of heat. We got the ham, double meat, double cheese. We got the pineapple, the bacon. It just all goes, man, the grilled onions. And then we're pairing that up with a mango habanero fry. That, that's that's where it's at right there. Yes, sir. We're actually gonna go in the kitchen and you're gonna make one of these burgers and some of the side items from start to finish for us. What are you gonna be making? I'm gonna do the good morning burger with the chicken pickle fries and we're gonna, we're gonna do that. That's what you're gonna have today, David. I'm ready for it. You ready? I'm ready, brother. Let's right. go get it, man. Let's go get it. Call me the grill, David. Let's go. All right, let's do it. All right, man. So what we're going to do is we're going to come and get a bun right here. Put a little butter on the grill. A little bit oh, of butter yeah. on the Put the of butter on there, baby. Let's for go. Sure. For sure. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're going to go patty on the grill. Okay, so we're just going to kind of, you know, move around a little bit real quick. We're going to hit them with a little bit of uh, kosher salt. We're going to hit it with a little pepper. Wonderful. We got a little piece of ham right here. So we got a little bit of smoked ham. All right, so that on the grill. We're gonna wake that up. Just hit a little bit of that. So butter with the ham. Let's move it around, you know, we, we don't want nothing I like to your use of the butter. You're, I like how loose you are with it. I like it. Butter's great, man. <laughs> Eggs going down. All right, got your fried egg. Bring this over. That's why they pay me the big bucks is because <laughs> the grill is where it's at. This is I'm like a surgeon sometimes, the way I chop and use these tools, like, it is what it is. So now we're gonna go with two slices of uh, American good old cheese here. Egg on top, boom, nice over easy. This is sriracha mayonnaise right here. This is sriracha mayonnaise, we're making it house. So from there, we're gonna go with some grilled onions. Bring my ham over. Ham on the bottom. Ham on the bottom, boom. Good morning, burger. Look at that. And then we're gonna top it off with nice applewood smoked bacon. That's what we're looking at right there, man. That's the good morning burger. That's the good morning burger, dog. Oh my gosh. All right, so we're gonna build the chicken pickle fry here. Nacho cheese sauce. A little bit of shredded. Cut up chicken strips. Our homemade yard sauce. We're gonna do uh, some pickles on top of that. All right, so then here you go. Chicken pickle fries with the Good Morning Burger, and it's on like Donkey Kong, brother. <laughs> the Good Morning Burger, chicken and pickle fries. I gotta go for the fry bite first. There we go. Give me some love, bro. Yeah? Mm. Backyard Kitchen, Poteet, Texas, man. I love that bite. Nice little vinegar pop. The chicken has a great flavor to it as well. 
I mean, but it's like cheese on cheese with cream sauce. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. But this is what I've been waiting for. The Good Morning Burger. Like, this thing's just like crazy. Here we go. Bro. It was yeah. from Elbow. Come on out to the Backyard Kitchen in Poti. Amazing food, great people. I mean, and the burgers are just top notch. You guys are killing it out here. Thank, Thank you so you, much for your time, Thank man. You, man. Appreciate it, David. That's incredible. I'm gonna go back in for these fries, too. For sure, man. Now it's time for a Taste of Texas with Shiner Bach Beer. And today, we're making a Shiner Beer Cheese and Steak Sandwich. And the first thing you gotta do, season your steak and set it off to the side. Cut your vegetables up, onions, garlic, throw it into a pan. This is gonna be making the beer cheese, a little bit of seasoning, and then cut up some of your vegetables for your cheese steak. Flour and butter into the pan, and then deglaze with a bottle of Shiner. And of course, you wanna throw in some of the extras. You got your heavy whip, Worcestershire, and then a little bit of Dijon mustard, all the cheese in there as well. Grill up your steak. Your veggies are cooking off to the side. Toast your bread. Mayo on the bottom. Provolone cheese. Of course, you got to slice up that steak, baby. That's all that flavor. And then season the steak one more time. Throw it on top of the sandwich. All that beer cheese ready to rock and roll. Get this full recipe now. Scan the QR code. Check it out. Make this at home and be a rock star. It's absolutely delicious. Now, we're headed to San Pedro Avenue for some sizzling hot teriyaki plates. Let's go see what they're cooking up inside Mr. Teriyaki. Joining us now is the owner and chef out here at the restaurant, Elon Shen. You go by E though, right? Yes. Thank yes. you so much for having us, man. And this food looks incredible. Thank it you. smells incredible in here as well, and it's absolutely gorgeous in here. Now, you have rice, you have noodles, sushi, a little bit of everything. Talk to me about your experience, though, with teriyaki. What got you into this? Oh, I've been doing this for so long, about 10 years, back to East Coast. I've been doing Habaji Chef, I've been doing, like, uh, Habaji Steakhouse, too, and then fast food, Habaji restaurant, too. And then that's why I bring up, hey, here in San Antonio, we didn't find any, like, good teriyaki restaurant here. That's why I try, me with my wife, my family, try to put one here. This plate just catches my attention every time I see it. This is like a combo lo mein. It's, it has beef, shrimp, and chicken with a lo mein noodles. It, it's a special sauce that I created by myself. You couldn't find anywhere other place. Bento boxes, this is a good lunch option, right? Yes, this is a, we have like good portion. We got sushi, we got egg roll, we got gyoza, we got salad, we got a uh, rice or noodle, your choice, or we got like topping, like you can have a like, chicken, beef, shrimp, or combination. You have some other fried options on the table as well. Talk to me about these. We do have those two uh, fried, this is, we call popcorn chicken, this is ninja chicken. We import everything like seasoning, uh, sauces, uh, breading, we've got everything from Taiwan. So it's not, you couldn't find, again, you couldn't find anything here. Now we're gonna go in the kitchen. You're gonna show us how to make a dish from start to finish. What are you gonna make for us? We're gonna make a lo mein combination. Oh my gosh, all right, grab your drink. We got a straw on the ones that we picked. Cheers to you, Cheers. try these out. Ooh, oh, give me some love on that one. Crash. Get a little bit of the combination, know what we're getting into. Cheers. Cheers. That's the bite. Oh, no. I need a shirt and I'm ready to work, okay? Let's do it. Okay, now we're in the kitchen. You're gonna show us how to make the lo mein combination dish. What's the first thing you do? First thing, we're gonna have uh, all our ingredients ready. We're gonna cook the meat first. Okay. We're gonna have uh, like, make sure it's high temperature. It's yeah. the right way to do it. Nice and hot. Nice and hot. We're gonna have uh, oil on it. A little bit of oil spread it. So chicken go first. Make sure one side is crispy, and then we can turn to the other side, do the same way. Make sure it's all flipped. Make sure I can keep my job here. <laughs> Look at that. It's big. We're gonna do exactly the same way as chicken. Make yeah. it crispy. I can start cooking the, the, the lo mein noodles. So what kind of vegetables you put in? You put little sprouts, little carrots? We got bean sprout, we got onion, we got carrots. Wonderful. Now we're gonna put on the, my lo mein noodles. 
Just get some butter on it. Okay. Like this. How much you put? In? Oh, a little bit. A little bit, not much. <laughs> I was about to put on like a whole thing. Okay, like. Okay, okay. and then on it. Oh, oh, bro, you're already like five Straight steps up. ahead of me. Let's see. Straight there we go. Now you can just start talking there to people. You go. There you go. How you doing, ma'am? How you doing today? <laughs> Wonderful. I'm ready for my secret sauce. This looks awesome. Shrimp down. Shrimp's the last thing because you want the texture right. to be right. Exactly. Mr. Teriyaki, right here off of San Pedro. It is a new restaurant in San Antonio. You have to come check them out. Wonderful family, wonderful people, great food. I mean, just top notch. And this is the dish that I recommend. Now, I won't be here to make it, the professionals will. So I guarantee you it's going to be delicious. Cheers to you. Cheers. Give me some love, bro. Woo! That's delicious. All right, I got to get out of here. We got a lot of people lining up. I got to go sit at a table. Food delicious. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we're headed to Fredericksburg for a famous cheeseburger. We were the number three burger. And we you, got the cover. And you got the cover. So, so he can be number one. We're happy being number three. And next on the show, get ready for authentic Texas barbecue and a loaded three meat sandwich. This looks absolutely insane. I'm so happy. Don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Shiner has sent us on a mission to travel all across the Lone Star State pairing ice cold beer with delicious food. And you can watch us every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning right here on KSAT 12 for recipes, restaurants, and more. Shiner, the official beer of Texas Eats. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in Pleasanton to check out an award-winning barbecue joint. It's making brisket, sausage, turkey, ribs, plus a giant barbecue sandwich that you got to see. Let's see what's on the menu at Texas Prime Barbecue. Joining us now is David Romero. He is the co-owner pit master out here. And right in front of us, you have side items. You got a tray loaded up with all the barbecue. But talk to me about Texas Prime Barbecue. How did all this get started? So Texas Prime Barbecue started as a, a family thing. We, uh, we started actually as a food truck. We decided to get bigger and bigger. So we got a building now. It's all family owned, family based. We work very hard. Everything that we make is uh, from scratch. We get up early in, every morning and, and start our thing, do our thing, man. And uh, it's fun. It, What's, what, what's your favorite thing? Sunday barbecues with your family, right? That's gotta be the way to do it. Enjoy your weekends with great Texas barbecue. I wanna talk about what's going on here on this tray. I mean, this brisket just looks insane. Holds up on its own weight, pulls right apart. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. Give me some elbow. Bam! Delicious. Now I wanna talk about your turkey because as you were slicing that, it's probably the juiciest turkey I've ever seen at a barbecue joint. I'm gonna go for it. You guys, look at this thing. Super juicy. I mean, as you were slicing it, you could see all that flavor just rushing out. Cheers, the turkey. That melts in your mouth. Oh my God. That has to be the juiciest turkey I've ever had at a Texas barbecue joint. That's man. one of my favorites, honestly. Wow, and you can't come out to a Texas barbecue joint and not eat some pork ribs. Man, you got them out here. They look insane. Once again, slicing it open, juicy on the inside. That bark is beautiful on the outside. I'm gonna ask you one more time, man. Share a secret with me. How you doing it? Well, if I told you, man, you wouldn't be here doing it. <laughs> you know how many death threats I get when I ask for secrets? All right, cheers to you. Cheers, man. The rib. Oh, perfect. Perfect. It sticks to the bone. You give it a little tug. The meat comes right off. I mean, it's still so juicy and it's been resting there for just a little bit. Beautiful flavors. I mean, these are the top three meats that you want to try when you come out to a Texas barbecue joint. Now, you also have desserts. Who's making the desserts out here? So actually, it's Nana. Nana's making the desserts. Uh, that'd be uh, my mom, you know, but we got the uh, homemade banana pudding here. This is our uh, cookies and cream pudding. Oh, And that I one's really good. It's got marshmallows. Uh, it's got the Oreo cookies and some chocolate syrup in there with the, the pudding. It's really nice. All right, the banana pudding. <laughs> Dang. Nana knows what's up. It's smooth. Nana putting the Nana and banana. That's what she's doing. <laughs> Cookies and cream pudding. I've never heard of this one. Yeah, this one's really good. You piqued my interest with this one. All right, cheers. cheers man. That's the bite. 
Wherever, wherever you're at, Nana. Delicious. <laughs> Y'all, the happy. desserts are slapping too Thank out you, here. Man. Now, you're gonna be making an item for us, a loaded three meat barbecue sandwich. What's the name of the sandwich? That's the Texas Prime uh, three meat sandwich. It's gonna be the three meter. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our uh, turkey breast. We're gonna layer that on the bottom right there, man. After that, we're gonna get our brisket. I'm already sold, bro. You give me that two meter, I'm, I'm going home happy. That's a, good oh old, <laughs> that's a good old thick slice of our brisket there. Yeah. Put that right on top. Oh my goodness. Now we're gonna get a nice piece of our sausage here. It's a garlic. And I like that you said that this one in particular, uh, you are outsourcing this one, but out of its, just right outside Lockhart, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It sure is. Beautiful. Thank you. We're gonna go ahead and put that on the top of the sandwich there. House made sauce. Oh and just to top it off, man. Oh, cheese sauce. Oh my gosh. I don't know how you're gonna do that, man, but. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get all three beats here in one bite. This looks absolutely insane. I'm so happy. Here we go. <laughs> wow. The turkey's amazing. The brisket is outstanding. The sausage has a really nice casing on there, so it has a great snap. The barbecue sauce, slightly sweet. It's got a nice tangy punch to it. And then the cheese sauce on there is just over the top. Y'all need to come out here. Texas Prime Barbecue out here in Pleasanton. You're killing it. You Thank and your you, family, man. everybody out here. It's a family affair. Award-winning barbecue joint. They swept all the categories on the best Texas eats that we had last year for 2022. Congratulations Thank on you. that. Thank you. The sides, the desserts, everything. You're going to get blown away. This is awesome. I got to go in for another bite. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Coming up later on Texas Eats, we're headed to the Hill Country for a wine tour and some bistro bites. He's a wine thief. Oh, yes. Good, good, good. I am also a wine thief, so this yeah, is we're, great. We're all wine thieves. And next on the show, we're headed to Fredericksburg for a famous cheeseburger. We were the number three burger. And we you, got the cover. And you got the cover. So, so he can be number one. We're happy to be a number three. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in Fredericksburg to check out a restaurant that got the cover burger on Texas Monthly Magazine. Plus they're serving up some amazing bites and they got live music. Let's go see what's on the menu at Alamo Springs Cafe. Joining us now is the owner out here at the restaurant, Brian O'Neill. Thank you so much for having us, brother. Thanks for coming. Now, right in front of us, you guys brought out the hits. I mean, you got some plated dishes. You got some of these basket items that are just like the craveable ones. Yes. But talk to me about Alamo Springs Cafe. How did this get started? We'll be open 19 years this May, next to Old Tunnel State Park. Uh, we have three million neighbors. They're all free tail bats. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Um, <laughs> they live in the old train tunnel. They're here for six, seven months a year. They go back to Mexico, and then they come back here. Every Everybody's season. here to see Absolutely. the bats, and then you're like, oh, by the way, there's also an amazing restaurant that's just right down the road from the state park. You'd be surprised how many people just wander in thinking we are the park or like, <laughs> what is this place? And then they eat and we make new friends. In front of us here, you did bring out some of the more uh, popular items on the menu, yes. including you have catfish, you yes. have the fried pickles, you yes. have onions. And now this one in front of us on the dish, talk to me about what's going on here. So you got chicken fried steak here. We do this every Sunday morning. It's kind of our day after special. So you've got homemade mashed potatoes, fried green tomatoes, those are the secret weapon. Two slices of Texas toast. Everything there is made here in the house. You have a lot of fried items out here on display, but your, your fried onions, your onion rings, this is like the one that people want to get, right? Absolutely. We're really well known for these onion rings. They've been written up as much as the burger, as much as everything else. You didn't just get a ride up. You got the cover of That's Texas right. Monthly. That's right. Top 50 best burgers in the state. That's right. And what was that moment like for you? The number one burger didn't get the cover. We were the number three burger. And we you, got the cover. And you got and the so, cover. So, so he can be number one. We're happy being number three. This is not the cover burger, but you do have a burger option out. It looks like a pimento cheeseburger. This is something that we put on about a year and a half ago, which quite frankly sells as much as a cover burger. It's pimento cheese, jalapenos, 
a couple of big pieces of bacon on a sourdough bun. And then right here, you also have like a Cuban sandwich kind of deal going on. Talk to me about this one. This is a Friday special as well. It's Virginia ham. We get roast pork. We brine it in-house and roast it in-house. These are French uh, buns and Swiss cheese and then pickles and yellow mustard. It's just a classic Cubano sandwich. You got a little bit of everything out here for everyone. Yep. The fried catfish out here as well. Of course, an ice cold shiner to go down. And then you got this little cup here. What's inside the cup? Bourbon and Dr. Pepper. All right, so we're going to go in the kitchen. Yeah. You're going to make an item for us from start to finish. What Absolutely. are you making? Uh, we're going to do the cover burger. You're going to do the cover burger. All right, Absolutely. so we get to try yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're number three. We're, we're number, number three. three. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring the drinks with us. Come on, let's, let's go. go make a burger. Let's go. All right, now we're in the kitchen. Ryan, you're gonna be making for us the Texas Monthly Cover Burger. What's yes, the sir. first thing you do to make this burger? Well, you gotta get this burger on the grill. All right, so we've got that burger. She's just about home. Talk to me about the patty real quick. How big are these patties? They're a half pound, 80-20 fine grind. Same meat for almost 20 years. We know how you like your burger. You're gonna help me out by pulling those fries up. Okay. Hook it to the side. There we go. There you go, that way. All okay. right, I'm already working now, okay. Work it, man, work yeah. it. Okay, <laughs> you're not getting paid though. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna take this burger, we're gonna put it over here. Then my good friend Max got to set us up. Okay. Pepper Jack, we're gonna put that right there for right now. Put that lid right on top of that burger. I'm gonna dome it up. Dome it up. Right over here, we have some sauteed grilled onions. We have green peppers over here. Oh, you're not playing games. You got no, it all no, set no, no, up. No, no. That's yep, a lot of onions, yep, that's yep. a lot of peppers. Well, you're a big man. <laughs> yeah. You're a big man, you need big burger. That's all right. right. All we need to do is just get a little of that cheese on there. Okay. Melted. All and right, then... this is a jalapeno yeah. cheddar bun. Lettuce, tomato, avocado, pepper jack cheese. I just like that some of the oil from the burger is just dripping on it as you were talking. Oh, yeah, yeah, come on, that's goodness. All right, then now. Here, I'll hold this for you. You hold that, all right. We're gonna put these onions. We're gonna get these green chilies. We're gonna get some jalapenos on there. And the last piece to the puzzle is gonna be yours, my friend. We're gonna take this, get it on there, kind of flatten it down, and someone's gotta hold it together. Check this out, y'all. Here we go. Texas, bag. Texas flag on the top. Boom. Brian, thank you so much for having us out here. Oh man, come on. Alamo Springs Cafe, you guys gotta come check them out. I mean, you come out to the state park, enjoy yourself, get some great food, come get the Texas Monthly Cover Burger, all the great food. I mean, you got the catfish, you have all the fried items on the side. This is where it's at. I gotta take a bite of this bad boy. Oh, come on now, let's go. We're going in, so I gotta take these You're gloves off. Yeah. All right, y'all, that's the bite. Wow, I'm proud of you. Good, Good job. Club. This is fantastic. It has to be one of the best burgers that I've ever had. You ready? Yeah. We're number, number three. three. We're, We're number three. three. We're number one. Yeah, you're number, number one. one. <laughs> Coming up later on Texas Eats, Egyptian-inspired Texas barbecue and smoked lamb chops. Look how juicy that is. So and these are um, dry rubbed and smoked to medium rare. We uh -huh. use Middle Eastern spices. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in Stonewall to check out a vineyard and winery that's making some incredible products, including some great bites out of their bistro. And they have a tasting room where we get to go in and try a lot of different wine. Let's see what they're bottling up at Coleman Cellars. Joining us now is Molly Richardson. She is the tasting room manager. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for being here. And right behind us, we got all of the vineyard. I mean, this is just a section of it. Yes. Some of the grapes that are grown here on property. But talk to me about Coleman Cellars. How long has it been here? The vineyard's been here longer than the actual winery has been here. So we started planting in 2012. Uh, the winery opened in 2014. Uh, we have five varietals here on property. We do mostly southern French varietals. We have one Italian. Now you have, uh, looks like little like pruning tools in yes. your hand here. Were you doing some work over here? Yeah, so uh, this is uh, our Roussan vineyard block. Uh, just got finished up. You have to know what you're doing. You gotta know what you're snipping at. So what is the yes. goal when you're, when you're snipping? Like you don't wanna get too close, right? Yeah, so you wanna leave about two inches. You wanna leave two buds. So I don't know if you can see right here, that's a bud. 
Uh huh. And that's a bud. That's oh. where our canes are going to grow out. That's where we're going to get the fruit from. So this is where it's grown. But now we're going to go into the production area, and we're actually going to like sneak a little sips out of some barrels. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. <laughs> We're going to um, use a wine thief. Oh, yes. Good, good, good. I am also a wine thief, so this yeah, is we're, great. We're all wine thieves. <laughs> good, good. Let's go check it out. Now we're in the cellar, and we have glasses that we have stumbled upon, and yes. you have a wine thief. This is a wine thief. This is our Ignis. Ignis is our really special wine that we only make in certain vintage years, so really, really great growing seasons. There we go. Perfect. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So cheers. cheers. Smell it. Oh. Ooh. This is tasting really good. Well, I'll tell you what. I would totally just buy this the way it is. It's delicious, but I know that there's some more uh, maturity that can happen for, for the grapes in there, but you're delicious. I'm yeah. looking forward to drinking you soon. Yeah. But we're going to go into the tasting room now, and there's some already set up for us, right? And some bites. Yes, we got Bistro, and we can taste the 17 of the Ignis. Ooh. Okay, let's do it. All right. Now we are in the tasting room, and I brought an element from our previous pruning um, exploration outside. This is actually an old vine. This is where the grapes would grow off of, and this is where they age in this process, right? Absolutely. And then now in front of us, you have some different samples of wine. You also have some bites, but talk to me a little bit about the tasting process. How does that all work? We call this our wine and food pairing. It is five small bites paired with five wines. Each bite is specifically made to pair with that wine. And we talk about, you know, why wine and food works together or maybe why it doesn't. So it's an educational tasting. It's a lot of fun and uh, just a nice introduction. And very important, is this a glass of water? This is water. Water is okay. the most important part of wine tasting. That's right, yes. It's always good. Here, cheers to the water. Okay. <laughs> you're not supposed to cheers with water. Oh, you're not supposed it's to cheers with water? Luck. Is it yeah. bad luck? Oh, gosh. Okay, grab, okay, grab a red wine. <laughs> Okay, cheers with the red wine. Okay. Now, you actually have some bites prepared for us in the bistro area, where we're gonna dive into some more of the wine and take some bites. I'm super excited, because we've worked up an appetite now. We were pruning outside all day. Yes. Okay, well here, cheers again. Cheers. Is it bad luck to do it twice? Wine and food, no. no. We just have to drink now. Okay, now we have to drink. <laughs> All right, now we're here in the bistro. This is the area where you can come get your food, you get your wine, you could relax after a long day of walking around and enjoying yourself. So our roasted beet hummus is currently on our wine and food pairing. Oh, you gotta join me here. You yeah. gotta get one with me here. I'm, I'm gonna get a little bit. Cheers. not take such a big bite on camera, right? <laughs> no, we can take big bites. That's what we do. So I want you to taste it with the estate rosé. That's what it's paired with. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's super nice. It's slightly like fruit forward, but it's like savory and a great texture. I love the little crispiness from the chip that you have with it. And then the wine, it helps round it all out too. Yeah. That's fun. Yeah, and that's what wine and food pairing's all about. You also have some nuts here that you're very well known for. Talk to me about these. Aside from our wine, we are probably best known for our almonds. And these are made here in house. They are Herbe de Provence uh, Marcona almonds. And then which wine would you recommend with this? Always the Aluve. This is our 2019 Aluve. I think the best vintage of Aluve yet. Thank you so much for having us Thanks out for here. Being here. Holman Cellars, you guys have to check them out. Follow them on social media to learn all about the events that they have throughout the year. But thank you so much for having Cheers. us out here. All right, here's the almond. It doesn't get better than that. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna eat this whole charcuterie <laughs> okay. board. Thank you so much. Thank you. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we go to a north side rib and hot chicken spot that's bringing some serious spice. Look, it falls apart. Y'all, this is insane. And next on the show, Egyptian inspired Texas barbecue and smoked lamb chops. Look how juicy that is. So and these are um, dry rub and smoked to medium rare. We uh -huh. use Middle Eastern spices. Don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. 
Now we're in Austin at KG Barbecue to meet up with the pit master and owner, Kareem Ogayish. Kareem grew up barbecuing over hot coals and live fire with his family in Egypt. Barbecue in the Middle East is all about hot charcoal grilling. Everything is skewered over live fire, but hot charcoals. And then I visited Austin in 2012 and I tried barbecue and it literally changed my life. Kareem eventually moved to Austin to pursue his own style of barbecue, which he describes as a Texas barbecue technique fused with traditional Egyptian flavors. The brisket is the only thing on the menu that will be very traditional. Okay. <laughs> Everybody says don't mess with Texas. I say don't mess with brisket. Okay, good. It's a good policy to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hold this one up right here. This is lamb right here. And look at the inside. I mean, beautiful. Look how juicy that is. So and these are um, dry rubbed and smoked to medium rare. We uh -huh. use Middle Eastern spices. Give us some love on that one. Mm -hmm. Insane. <laughs> This is our pulled lamb shoulder. So again, you go to barbecue joints, you usually get pulled pork. So we try to really shed light on lamb because I grew up eating lamb and it's not popular enough here. Cheers. Cheers. There we go, pulled lamb. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh Very wow, specific. I'll tell you what. If I can have pulled lamb, I will take that any day over pulled pork. Absolutely. So this is one of our most popular items here. This is a pomegranate glazed pork ribs. They are dry rubbed uh, in Middle Eastern spices, smoked on the smoker and glazed in our pomegranate barbecue sauce. I mean, they're all winners here. Yeah. You got <laughs> One of the things I love about our barbecue is our sides. Here in KG Barbecue, we really try to do things differently in terms of our sides are very light, crisp, bright flavors that complement the rich fattiness of the smoked meat. Okay. This is called the baladi salad. Uh, baladi means local in Egyptian Arabic. Uh, it's basically a very simple, bright, fresh salad that you'll see on the table uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Cheers. Very simple. I live here now. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go inside of the food truck and you're gonna make a dish for us from start to finish yep. and we get to try it fresh. Which one are you gonna make for us? We're gonna make our famous brisket rice bowl. I'm so excited. Let's go in the food truck. <laughs> Let's go, Let's go, go make a bowl. Right. This is awesome. <laughs> First step is we get uh, a bed of our cinnamon and turmeric rice. I like to get a little combo of both lean and moist brisket. So now we move over to uh, garnishing the bowl. We have our baladi salad that you uh, tried outside. And then we top that off with tahini sauce. Over that goes our candy nuts. Last but not least, always we like to top our food off with a little Man. beautiful pomegranate seed. You guys have to come up here at KG Barbecue. The food truck in Austin is just making amazing stuff. Everything made fresh. The orders are coming in. That's just the <laughs> way it is. Busy out here, y'all. Get your fork. Let's go in. Cheers. There you go. Cheers. We're playing games out here, man. That, <laughs> that's insane. Congratulations to everything. You guys are just killing it. I am going to take this home, yes. and I will be yeah. taking a nap <laughs> afterwards. This is awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in Selma, just northeast of San Antonio, to go inside of a Texas-based restaurant that's serving up all different kinds of chicken tender heat levels, plus delicious tender ribs. I'm telling y'all, it's simple, but it's delicious. Let's see what's on the menu at the Cook Shack. Joining us now is Mark Rogers. He's the CEO out here at the Cook Shack. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for being here. And you know what? This looks incredible. This is one of the most impressive spreads I've seen in some time. Talk to me about the concept. Why hot chicken? We love fried chicken. Who doesn't love fried chicken? And we didn't only want to be um, in the hot chicken bucket. We wanted to have some variety. And so we thought, let's do ribs. Let's have amazing salads on the menu, a chicken sandwich, chicken tacos, and um, chicken and waffles. We just we thought instead of being just hot chicken and we could branch out a little bit, we'd be better off. 
Each rack has 13 bones. We smoke them for two, two and a half hours. Then we slow cook it for another hour and a half to two hours after. So you can get them not hot, mild, medium, or as spicy as you want. We're gonna go in, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I gotta take another <laughs> bite of this thing. We have a variety of tenders right here, and these are the different spice levels, right? All different spice levels, from not hot, mild, medium, Texas hot, and AMF, which stands for adios, my friend, because I got a couple of kids. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we use the three hottest peppers in the world. We use the ghost pepper, that's three. The uh, Trinidad Scorpions, two, and the Carolina Reaper, number one. After we're done trying this, we're actually gonna go in the kitchen and we're gonna talk with Leslie, and she's gonna be cooking an item for us from start to finish, preparing a plate. Which plate are we making in the kitchen? We're gonna do ribs and tenders in the back, because we call it the best of both worlds. I'm so excited for that. Now, you have something hiding down here. What do you have? So I brought out the <laughs> AMF tender. Oh, no. Which I don't eat very often, but yeah. this is a special occasion with okay. you here. All right, cheers. Go for it. Cheers. This is going to be a long 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. That is unpleasant. <laughs> <laughs> we Woo. do not order this. Mm. But Unless you know what? You're though? a glutton for punishments. <laughs> <laughs> if you're crazy, like crazy, and you like spicy food, I dare you to try the AMF. Sign the waiver so that way everybody's covered because it is a crazy experience. That was fun though. Cheers to you, man. We Cheers. did it. <laughs> it's the real deal, y'all. All right, I'm going to cool down. I'm going to go in the kitchen with Leslie. We're going to make some food. I tell you what, though, I'm, chug I'm chugging some milk. <laughs> Woo! Now we're stepping in the kitchen to speak with Director of Operations, Leslie Reed. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. And now you're going to be making for us the tender and ribs plate. What's the first thing you do to make that? First thing we're going to do is we're going to batter our tenders. Okay, if I put gloves yep. on, could you walk me through it? Yeah. Okay. Right here is our breading station. So we have all of our dry spices. Uh, different ones. Our AMF, the one you had, is uh, up here. And uh, is that why it's spicy? up there? You know, yeah, is that because so it's we like don't mix it? Yeah, or yeah. like have an accident and like accidentally like exactly. pepper bomb everybody back Which here. Which we may or may not have done. <laughs> and then we're gonna take our tenders and while it's spinning, we're gonna dip. That's just a, let it drip a little bit. That's off. a bucket of flavor right it, there. Look at that. Really that's just is. goodness. Look at all the seasoning on there already. Yep. And now you're gonna coat it again. Yep. So then we're gonna take our medium spice and we're going to oh, I love evenly it. coat it on both sides. We're just gonna take our also our spice barbecue sauce. So in this case, we're gonna make a medium, <gasps> and we're oh, just gonna get out of town. Can I mop? Gonna... If you put some sauce on there for me, can I mop it yeah, up? Yeah. Do you want to mop it up? I want to mop it up. All right. We don't want it too much. We don't want them to taste too much barbecue sauce. Ooh. Barbecue sauce is just the extra. Look at that, y'all! <laughs> Come on, that looks incredible. And then we're gonna take our uh, medium because we're gonna make these medium, and we're just gonna sprinkle it. <gasps> And what sides are you putting on there today? Uh, we're going to do mac and cheese today. Oh, my goodness. Leslie, thank you so much for making this and showing us how it's all prepared. Made from scratch, made with love out here. The Cook Shack, now here in Selma. You guys got to come check them out. I want to try the mac and cheese with you. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Cheers. Girl, that is delicious. <laughs> This is where it's at. Come get great food, great service, and just enjoy yourself. It's beautiful out here. Grab a beer, grab a margarita, just sit for a while. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, these ribs, y'all. Texas Eats will be right back. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Texas Eats. And to get more information and a map on all the restaurants that you've seen on today's show, just go to our website, TexasEatsTV.com. Don't forget to follow us on social media at Texas Eats TV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to join us every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning and 11 o'clock at night right here on KSAT 12. And stick around, the Brahma's game comes up right after this.